Hi everybody, it's Saturday, January the 10th, 2009. There are 300 days until Rockstock, and I just finished watching The Queen and confirmed my old lady crush on Helen Mirren. Okay, so first things first. Fran, I'm really glad you're feeling better. We were kind of getting worried about you there for a little while. Good to see you're back on two feet. Ariel, I hope you're having a great time in the Crystal Ball in Ohio. I wish I could have come. It was just so expensive and so close to going back to school for me and then coming up from the Cary Yule Ball in North Carolina and everything. It was just something that I wasn't able to do, but I'm glad you're having a good time. From seeing your Facebook posts and your, your tweets, it seems like you're having a great time in the in the castle there. So. Hope you have a safe trip back. Um, be safe in the snow. This will be my last video that I'm posting from my house in, in Georgia. Um, I'm going to go back to New York City probably Wednesday, either Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Although I don't have to go to school until the 20th. Um, I'm going to go back a little bit early and try to get some things in order and all that good stuff. So, so I actually have a question for everybody. We haven't had a question in a while. Um, and I was watching the Pottercast blog and I really liked their question this week, which is about the restricted section of the library. So my question to all you guys is the same as the Pottercast question. If you could check out any book from the restricted section of the Hogwarts library, what would it be and why? I'll go ahead and answer the question for myself. Personally, I think I'd want to check out the most potent potions um, book because potions always seem to me to be a really interesting subject in Hogwarts in general. I always found it interesting that it was a section of magic that did not involve spellcasting. I've always had questions about potions as an art in general. Um, so like, since it doesn't require a wand, it doesn't require incantation, can, can a muggle make a potion even though they're not magical? Can a squib make a potion? If you have all the ingredients and you know how to do it, um, can you make it if you're not magical? I mean, does it require magic or, it, it, I don't know. If you have any thoughts on that, go ahead and, you know, chime in. So yeah, I think it'd be, I, was, I think it'd be really interesting to check out the most potent potions book and just kind of see like, I don't know just kind of read up on what kinds of powerful potions are out there and how diverse how diverse um, the study of magic gets, um, especially since it doesn't involve actually casting spells or waving a wand. Um, so yeah, that's that, that would be my answer to it. So I'm looking forward to hearing all your answers and if any of the subscribers, you know, have any opinions on what book they would like to check out of the restricted section, if you have any opinions or any thoughts on um, just potions in general, like just what I said about, um, if, you know, do you think a muggle or a squib could make, could make a potion? Um, you know, feel free to leave text comments or even a video comment. We love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go out later and hang out with Julianne and one of our old friends that haven't seen since like first year of college. Um, so it should be fun. Hmm, I think that's it. Um, Ariel, I'll see you tomorrow.